This is the first time that uh, the aircraft uh, uh, cross uh, Italian borders. Uh, we've been, uh, uh, we first flew the aircraft uh, uh, on the 29th of uh, December last year. Uh, and then we've been uh, flying the aircraft uh, for roughly 25, 25 hours, mainly focusing on expanding the envelope of the engine, uh, which is a uh, Williams FGA 44 engine. The aircraft has been designed as a uh, basic uh, military training aircraft. The pilots are meant to be screened, if needed, on an aircraft, a propeller-driven aircraft, and then be transitioned on the M345 for basic training. The things that makes this aircraft different from the mainstream training aircraft that have been developed the last year for basic training is this, it is a jet aircraft. It is integrating a very efficient jet engine, and not only fuel efficient, but with a, with a, a, a speed envelope much wider than the commonly um, turboprop uh, trainers available on the market and is making uh, the 345 not only suitable for basic training but also for uh, basic to advanced training. And is that part of the family that you call it, the M345 uh, and M346? Uh, exactly, the, the, the two aircraft uh, have been uh, um, developed from, from scratch to be used together. So they are both very easy to fly and they both are capable to stretch their capability towards, in, in terms of course, uh, uh, training capability towards the right end of uh, the speed envelope, which makes uh, the 346 uh, to be used if the customer wants also in the third phase. And the 345, if the customer wants to be used for the third phase. So that the two aircraft are really can be overlapped uh, the way that the customer want, uh, depending on what is uh, the frontline fighter that we have. So for example, if they, they have uh, a low hand fighter, uh, frontline fighter, they can make it, the mix work in a certain way or make it different if, if they have a uh, advanced frontline fighter like a Eurofighter. The aircraft can be uh, can go can be flown as low as 82 knots, which is its stall speed, and up to uh, 400 knots, which is uh, an, a speed which is realistic to produce uh, uh, training for fast, fast jet pilots. And um, it is very easy to fly. It can be stalled. It can be spin, spun but it's very easy to recover from a stall. It can be recovered from a spin the way that you conventionally know with the opposite rudder and release controls. But if you use it for initial, I mean, ab initial training, which can, this aircraft can do, uh, if, you, if you get into a spin, you can release controls and the aircraft will uh, recover by itself. At the moment, we're still finishing the, the uh, engine integration. Next is gonna be uh, avionics. Uh, with uh, the new FM, FMS flight management system being integrated uh, with all the new avionics uh, uh, system. The one that is integrated now is actually a legacy avionics system that we have um, integrated, but the final one has got the whole uh, uh, capability. Plus we have to do uh, development on uh, the general systems, namely the OBOX and ECS, Environmental Control System, which is, uh, of course, intimately connected to the engine and the onboard oxygen system uh, uh, that uh, is providing uh, the aircraft with, uh, I would say, um, uh, self-contained capability in terms of deployment because you don't need uh, uh, to refill uh, uh, oxygen bottles like in the past. The Italian Air Force has already bought uh, five aircraft plus uh, the uh, GBTS, meaning it is not actually just the aircraft, but it's the integrated training system. And for the time being, this is including five uh, aircraft and simulators. And um, the, the Italian Air Force uh, is looking at uh, a total of 45 uh, uh, aircraft. Plus, we already have another uh, customer that uh, I'm not allowed to release now, 
and we have uh, many, many other potential, uh, uh, potential customers available. Mm -hmm.